Hi, this is Jeff with the devotion for Monday, April 26th. Today's lectionary has selections from Psalm 95, a call to worship and obedience. Love that, but we've done I've done quite a bit of that recently. Feel free to do it on your own. Uh, it's got a, a story from 1 Samuel, which we'll reference in a second. And then it's got this from the epistles, 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. Let's read this. Now as an elder myself and a witness of the sufferings of Christ as well as one who shares in the glory to be revealed, I exhort the elders among you to tend the flock of God that is in your charge, exercising the oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you do it, not for sordid gain, but eagerly. Do not lord it over those in your charge, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will win the crown of glory that never fades away. In the same way, you who are younger must accept the authority of the elders, and all of you must clothe yourselves with humility in your dealings with one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Uh, wonderful leadership advice here. Um, and before I go any further, I just want to share a, a verse or two from, from 1 Samuel, which is uh, titled, David Anointed as King. And they're, they're going through the, the various people who could be king. And then they come uh, finally to David. And they bring him and they say, He sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and had beautiful eyes and was handsome. The Lord said, Rise and anoint him, for this is the one. So uh, we have two different versions of leadership there. Uh, get the handsome one. I'm sure there's more of that story. And then this really good advice from First Peter, which is um, to take care of your flock, to not ask them to do anything that you wouldn't do or are not already doing, to be an example, to not lord it over, to not use it for gain, but just to, to lead people. Um, and all that's really excellent advice. I've had the um, pleasure to be in authority. I've had the pleasure to assist those in authority even more. And so I've seen a lot of uh, leadership styles. And uh, the one this one describes is, is, to me, just spot on. God opposes the proud but gives grace to the, hum grace to the humble. Uh, lead with humility. Uh, lead by example. And uh, don't lord it over anyone. Uh, the only other thing here is it says the younger must accept the authority of the elders. I have uh, actually assisted many people who were younger than myself and have found absolutely very little... Uh, to, uh, relationship between age and good leadership. Um, they, good leaders come in all ages, as do so many other things. But beyond that, this is some wonderful uh, thoughts on on authority and leadership, and uh, and I hope this helps you some this Monday. And let's pray together. God, today give us the the wisdom to and the humility to lead, and also the humility to follow when it's time to follow. Um, and let us all work together for your kingdom and your will. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now have a great day.